everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing, and today we're going to be taking a look at Barbarians. Let's take a look at the back here. It says, you are an adventurer relaxing at the bar of a local inn after spending many days in a cold and dangerous dungeon. Well, hey, we've all been there, haven't we? Uh, looks like uh, three to five players in about 45 to 60 minutes. Let's take a look and see what we can see on the inside of this box get a sense for maybe how the game plays at least on a general level here we've got rule books uh this is not an american yeah, there we go an english rule book uh, okay so we've got our list of components here the goal players take the role of adventurers involved in a drunken brawl at a local inn the only way to survive is to knock all the other players out well sure sure um during their turn, players can perform three actions. You can stumble, troublemake, troublemaking, stumbling, or taking a breather. Wow, this sounds like an action-packed game. You've got brawl cards with different types, attack and defense, drink cards, event cards, and the ever-popular violence cards. All right, the game ends as soon as the penultimate character is knocked out. The last player standing wins the game, and then there are some optional rules that you can get in there too. So, sounds like it's a brawling type of a game. Let's take a look at some of the components. Here we've got some cardboard standees. These are very thick. That's a very substantial bit of cardboard there. Looks like we've got a little board. A Oh, it's not a fold-out board. I thought it was a fold-out board. This is a, a thick, double-sided cardboard. Looks like you've got different rooms in the tavern or bar. That you can be fighting in. This uh, looks maybe to be a, an interior of a castle. I don't know. Uh, here we've got a large D6. And then some bases for the standees. That's a very, very large D6 there. I rolled a four. That means I win. Let's take a look at some of the cards. Because really it looks like cards make up the bulk of the game. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these. So this is interesting in that the cards have dual languages on them. It looks like Italian and English. Pressure drop and beer. All right. The next time you roll a brawl die during an attack, you may apply a plus one modifier. So apparently beer is going to help your stats. I don't know about that thematically, but unicorn milk, hero shot, a lot of alcohol here so far kick royal guards think about it so well here we have different types of cards liquor when liquor what's the name of the character the name of the character is liquor well it seems to be thematic i suppose let's see if i can find another couple of characters in here we've got grappin whiny whiskus i'm sensing a theme Barrel or Barble Bruin. All right, so you can kind of get a sense of the of the art of the game here. Kind of silly. I don't think it's taking itself tremendously seriously. The theme of the game is not one that's terribly serious, I wouldn't think. All right, well, there we have the components for Barbarians. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.